Hey guys, it's Mr. Noob, and I'm going to be solving some more Rubik's Cubes today. I'm going to be doing 3x3 three three and 2x2 two two and Scoob. Okay, guys. This is the CS timer. It's a really good timer for your computer. I could probably solve it much faster without, like, a camera, like, right in front of me. Blocking a lot from my view. That was really bad. Here it would, sh it's gonna show the times, the average. That was my first also, <laughs> that much. I'm gonna solve the three by three five times and then it's gonna have an average of five as it says right here. Inspect. I keep forgetting to inspect it. Like. Did that just pop? mess up again I'm a master at messing up like literally now I'm gonna have the slowest solve again I'm such a noob Two more of the three by three. Forgot to inspect again. Hey, that was actually, usually my average is that fast, but I'm out of training. <laughs> okay, guys, this time I remember to inspect. This is the last time. Wish me luck.
Yes, that's my best one today. Okay. It was pretty good. Okay, guys. Now I'm going to go to skew. Oh, yeah. And by the way, in CS Timer, if you want to get rid of all of your times, you click this button. And then it will ask you if... It, yeah, if you do that, yeah, it reset all of the times, and then you press OK, and then all of the all of the times are gone. Okay. Two, one, go. nice seven seconds that's pretty good oh now i know what the ne uh, oh i know what the negative se uh, 7.61 means it means like over here is the time before it's minus minus that much time so that's this is the time how much faster i got okay oh yeah or how much slower i got See, now it's slower. Okay, two more. That was slow. Less than a second faster. Last one. Oh, lucky case. Okay, guys. That's the... That's the 2 by 2 And again, you click that and then that there. 